Good morning guys and welcome back to Dean's Tech Dies, back again with Tech News. And today we are discussing the recently announced Intel NUC11 Enthusiast Mini PC with discrete RTX graphics card. Wait, what? Before we jump into this news, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Okay guys, so on the 14th of January 2021, Intel have announced the next mini PC in their NUC or next unit of computing lineup. For those of you who have not seen an NUC PC before, they are a mini PC, they are mini PCs ranging from the size of a Mac mini to well, a slightly stretched Mac mini. Back when this kind of computer was huge manufacturers, including Gigabyte, Offering this mini PC, when they were offering these sort of mini PCs, they were often listed as bare bone PCs, as they had the bare essentials without the thrills. Well, it seems like someone forgot to read the memo over at Intel before the announcement of the new NUC11 UCS mini PC. This mini PC, which belongs to the slightly stretched Mac mini size of bare bones PCs features a quad core i7 1165G7 CPU which a quick spec sheet lookup reveals to be a mobile grade CPU with 4 cores, 8 threads and yes, Intel are still going all out on their hyper threading over physical cores with a max turbo boost frequency of 4.7 GHz, 16 GB DDR4 3200 MHz RAM and a discrete RTX 2060 with 6 gig of GDDR6. While a lot will not be impressed with the lack of RTX 30 series inside this unit, I think it's worth noting that A, an RTX 30 series is in short supply and B, for a tiny PC, how of an RTX 20 series will still be spectacular. We are looking at a PC smaller than an Xbox Series X with potentially the performance to play some 4K games depending on how graphically demanding said games are but it should definitely handle 1440p and 1080p gaming just fine. Personally, I'm ashamed to say this mini PC is more powerful than my gaming rig that I built a couple of years ago. But I am excited to see just how well this tiny PC performs in real life because tech sheets can be a little bit misleading at times. Let me know in the comment section down below what's your thoughts on this small but mighty gaming PC. Would you buy one? And also, would you like to see a video where I try to switch from my full-size ATX gaming and rendering PC over to the NUC11 and see if this PC can actually replace a large desktop PC? Anyway, I know it was a quick video today. Unfortunately, that is all the news and specs we have on this system at this time. But I'll keep you updated when more news comes out. Thank you for watching to the end of the video and bye-bye for now.